What's up guys, it's Cody B Pyrotechnics and today I'm gonna to be teaching you a strategy on how you can get over $220 in fireworks for only 150 bucks. All right guys, I'm recording this video after I lit all the fireworks off already. There was actually a sales rep that got that order. He's the one that filled that box for me. When I reached out to the guy in charge, he had no idea I was making this video where I was supposed to get at least $150 worth of fireworks and you're not going to believe how he responded. Before we take a look at what's inside this massive box here, I'd like to share with you guys some of my reasoning for shopping this way. I always like to go into a fireworks store with a plan and a budget and I stick to it. This is ultimately a great way for me to save money in a fireworks store and still get the most bang for my buck and I think you guys could take a lot away from the following video. So please stay tuned as we break down these reasons. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is show you this little list that I made up. Um, this is actually what I gave to the fireworks store owner upon going to the store. The list that I actually submitted to get what is in this box here. It's a very simple, straightforward list. And something like this, you know, you could just give it to the fireworks store guy or you just, if you can memorize this stuff, you just tell them while you're there and they'll fill up a box for you. So what I've done is I've created this little list here and I'll show you up close so you guys can see it. Um, and you can see I just titled it Fireworks Budget Box. There is actually science to this technique here and we are gonna break it down. Save a lot of money and get more fireworks. So this is what I put on the list. It might look kind of random and that's okay. I'm gonna break down why I chose to submit it like this. So you can see here I said at least one 500 gram cake, a few 200 gram cakes, a few fountains, artillery shells, handful of novelties. My budget right there was about 150 bucks. And we are going to see if everything in that box adds up to $150 in value or more. I firmly believe it's going to be more. So let's break down the science behind this list. It looks pretty simple to the untrained eye, but you guys are gonna learn this for yourself. At the very top here, I put at least one 500 gram cake. Now, why would I put that and not just one 500 gram cake? I leave it open to the store owner or sales representative to decide whether or not he's gonna give me one or two. And by putting at least one, he knows he at least has to give me one for that budget right there. But by using this terminology here, at least one, he's more likely to give you two. That's just how it is, it works every time. By giving me two 500 gram cakes, which I'm positive, I'm positive there's two 500 gram cakes in here. This brings me to my second point. 500 gram cakes are pretty large. In fact, when they're packaged here, you can see the packing number. When a 500 gram cake is packaged, it's usually packaged 4-1 or 6-1. That's a pretty big box. So by leaving it open, you're also winning and that they might give you two, they're gonna need a bigger box. So that's a lot of extra room in there to fit $150 worth of fireworks. So the two 500 gram cakes opens up all that extra space for whatever you might need. And we know that 500 gram cakes aren't always the same size. So there's oftentimes you get like a weird looking 500 gram cake and there's a lot of rooms on the sides. So then you could stick like novelties down there. Okay, second one on the list, a few 200 gram cakes. I say a few and normally that means three, but 200 gram cakes in a case, which is what we've got here, are usually packaged 8-1 or 12-1. Some really super small cakes are even packaged 24-1. So with 200, two 500 gram cakes already in the box, you could actually fit a ton of 200 gram cakes in there with it. I say a few fountains because they're generally the same size as 200 gram cakes, and you can mix and match those and put them in the box where there's room, but you're mainly targeting, that's why you say a few 200 gram cakes and a few fountains. We're saying three, but we know we're probably gonna get at least eight of those items here, just based on packing alone with the two 500 gram cakes already in there. Okay, we're gonna skip artillery shells because sometimes they're packaged so weirdly and you get 24 or even six in a pack. So we know there's probably some artillery shells in here. I did make that clear on the list. With the budget in 150, I want some artillery shells. I don't care what they are. They could be those little mini boxes, whatever. Um, this one here, so we're just gonna skip artillery shells the size doesn't really matter but handful of novelties so what do i mean by that just a handful of novelties in this box no there are going to be a lot of empty spaces in the box with the 500 gram and 200 gram cakes all kind of wedged together like tetris but there's also going to be those little spaces because like i said they're not all the same size so we're going to have these little crevices so by saying a handful of novelties you're actually prompting them to fill up the box with novelties. Wherever there's room, you know, you could shove some down in between. I'll be really interested to see if I'm right on that. And, it, and they actually use that in this box. That'd be really cool. And it would actually prove the point of this video here. So that's it for my reasoning. 
There was a, one other thing I wanted to talk about though. Okay, this is the last thing we're gonna talk about for smart fireworks shopping. When you go into a fireworks store, you usually are greeted by sales reps and shopping carts. If you go in with a budget in mind, and you also see shopping carts, you're more likely to want to fill that shopping cart up. If your budget was $150 and you grab a shopping cart, you will likely leave the store with $200 in product and the shopping cart will actually have a little more than you had intended on buying in it when you get to your car. To fix this, I thought it'd be a great idea to see what we can get if we order a box of fireworks and then pick it up from the store. This way we're leaving it up to the store owner or sales rep. And they're probably gonna love that idea, that little phone call you give them. Hey, fill me up a box for 150 bucks, let's see what you can do. They're just more likely to get as much as they possibly can into the box, much like how you think when you grab a shopping cart. So it's pretty cool how that works. I'm really interested to see if I'm right with all this planning I did. So let's take apart this box and see what we got. If I'm being honest with you guys, this is the most excited I've ever been to do an unboxing video on my channel. However, I'm incredibly nervous because if I was actually wrong about everything we just covered, I have to scrap this whole video and do something else with it. So I'm really hoping that this will go in my favor and those reasons really do add up and this is a better way to budget shop. So without any further ado, let's open this up. My hands are kind of shaking a little bit because I'm really excited to see if I was right. I'm also really nervous. So let's get this open. Okay, Ooh, wow. So right away, got it. I'm just looking at it, we got fountains. I see a 200 gram cake and I see some novelties, a pack of artillery shells, holy cow. I did not think we'd get canisters. So that's kind of concerning right away because we got canister shells, that takes up a lot of room. I'm hoping there's still two 500 gram cakes because remember we, we talked about that. So right up front, we've got blue fish and these are all by Boom and Bulldog. So that's what that looks like. It's kind of like Dory from Nemo. So everything I take out of this box, I'm actually just gonna put right over here. So we got that one, that's one fountain. We got a little cake here. Oh, nope, that's a fountain. It meant showers of sparks. This one is called Happy Fourth of July. In other words, it's all boom and bulldog, I know that much. So I got the stuff at Crackling Kirk's. Um, and if you guys want any of this stuff, you can definitely check them out. I'm gonna put their Facebook link in the description so you guys can go and test this out for yourself. If you're ever in Donovan, Nebraska, that is the location I got this at. So we got a Boomin' Bulldog, another fountain here. So how many, we got three fountains in total so far. This one's called Pyro Root Beer, pretty cool. We are gonna be lighting fireworks off towards the end of the video, so don't worry. I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging. Now we've got our first 200 gram cake. It's called Eastern Diamondback. Now I guess when I'm putting these over here, I'm gonna sort them. So we got one 200 gram cake, three fountains. We've got our artillery shells. I don't think there's any more in here. But these are, these look like they are five inch canisters. Red, I really hope you guys can see that. Uh, they're called Pro Comet Mines. Okay, that's interesting. Professional grade 60 gram cans. So, pretty cool. We've got some novelties here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you guys see what I'm pointing out right here? Just looking down in that box, I got a little excited because I can see I was right about at least one thing. So we've got some novelties here. These are smoke choppers, but Boom and Bulldog calls them smoke trails. Pretty cool, I've actually shot these off before. If you guys wanna see that video, I'll link it in the top right of your screen. So novelty section, let's just put that here. We've got Malfunction Junction, which is another 200 gram cake, 200 shots in that little guy. Pretty cool. Put that by the 200 gram cakes. What is this? This is our, look at that. This is our first 500 gram cake. Okay, we said at least one. We've got one, it's 19 shots. It's called Let's Get Crazy. Oh, and there's even a price on that. Look at that, $22.99. Nice 500 gram cake. Okay, 500 gram cake. Diving deeper, got novelties. Oh man, and you guys probably saw this on camera, but I wish I could go back. Did you see how that cake was wedged in there? Well, that's exactly what I said in my reasoning. You know, you're gonna shove these novelties wherever there's room, whether that's gonna be here or even down here in this little crack. So it looks like we got a handful of novelties, you know, take this. That is literally a handful of novelties, perfect. Then we got, uh, we got another 500 gram. Look at that, I think that might be one too, I don't know. 
So we got a 500 gram cake. I'm so glad that we got two of these because that is exactly what we were planning to do. We were, we were planning on getting two, but I only requested one. We actually got two. You guys see this starting to work out? Um, this one, I don't know. Uh, this is a fountain and that showers of sparks. This is called Mount Vesuvius. And I'm actually getting a little too excited here. I forgot to tell you the name on this guy. This is seven shots and it's called what? <laughs> It's literally what it's called. Pretty cool. And it's brown wrap. I like that too. Um, two more things here. Crescent Hybrid. It's an 18 shot 200 gram cake. Pretty nice. I, I'd be really interested to see if we do have some Crescents in here. Um, then we've got, oh, I put that in the fountain stack. And then we've got another 200 gram cake here. This is 16 shots. It's called 2319. Code red, we have 2319. Pretty cool. That's got a lot of weight to it. I'm pretty impressed with actually all the stuff I got in this box. Um, so let's break it down. We got two 500 gram cakes. We got one, two, three, four 200 gram cakes. We've got four fountains in total. I'll try to get some of these in on the frame here. We got a pack of artillery shells and we've got a handful of novelties. This is literally what I requested, and I firmly believe that we have got at least $150 worth of fireworks here. I'm actually going to do some research and digging to see if we've got even more than $150 worth of value here. Which I can tell you just from looking at it, I wouldn't be surprised if we've got about $200 or more worth of fireworks. At retail value, fireworks are pretty spendy, so let's get them all in the frame here, and you guys can decide for yourself. All right, guys, I'm recording this video after I lit all the fireworks off already. I did some further investigating. When I submitted my original order to the fireworks store, there was actually a sales rep that got that order. He's the one that filled that box for me. But after getting a hold of the guy in charge of the store, which his name is Craig, um, he sent me this text because I wanted to do some valuing on these fireworks to see if we actually got $150 worth. When I reached out to the guy in charge, he had no idea I was making this video where I was supposed to get at least $150 worth of fireworks. I just simply asked him, I wrote down all these products and I asked him for the prices and you're not going to believe how he responded. So let's take a look. I actually emailed his whole text to myself and I printed this off to show you guys. So let's take a look. The total value of the products in that 150 budget box came to be 225. And you can see all the prices listed right there. I cannot believe this. Um, I really got a hell of a deal on this thing. That is why it is a great idea for you to leave it up to the sales rep. Because nine times out of 10, the sales rep wants to make the customer happy and fill that box up. They're not really there to rip you off. Now he clearly hooked me up. Um, don't worry though, I did talk with Craig a little bit. That sales rep is not gonna get in any trouble once I release this video. So everything's good, but just so you guys know, if you do leave it up to the sales rep, you are generally going to get more bang for your buck. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, what's a Cody B video without lighting off some fireworks? So that's exactly what we're going to do. The items you see here, we're going to go shoot off right now. And the larger items here, like the artillery shells, the smoke choppers, the 200 gram and the 500 gram cakes, we're actually going to save for future videos. Stay tuned to see those in action. All right, guys, it's time for fireworks. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all of these at the same time. Uh, these ones we're not going to light off because they're actually daytime items. I'm going to put those back and we're going to be shooting these fountains off. So let me get them set up and we'll get right back to you. All right, let's go ahead and shoot off Blue Fish by Boomin' Bulldog. This is a firework fountain.
a glowing mouth thing is pretty cool. This thing's never gonna end. Very nice, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Unbelievable. That was one of the more impressive fountains I've ever had. <laughs> that thing got up there too, like max height was probably 15 feet. Now we're gonna try Pyro Root Beer. This is another firework fountain by Boom and Boba. It's got some height to it. Gorgeous fountain, very nice height for such a small little guy. All right, this one is actually called Happy Fourth of July. It's a firework fountain by Boom and Bulldog. Let's check it out.
Okay, for a while there, I did not think that one was going to end, but that is a firework for the money right there. Holy cow. To make this a little more interesting, we're gonna do all of the strobes at once. So here we go. That is way too bright. I can't stare at that much longer. Oh man. <laughs> Look at this, it's lighting up the whole hill and it is the middle of night right now. You should not be able to see any of that. Holy crap. There's my pickup. That's wicked. Let's try these while we're waiting for that to be over with. I think we only got two. Oh my god. Those are wild. <laughs> Super crackling balls. Okay, we can't stare at that or we're going to lose our vision. So I'm going to cut the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, that's kind of cool with the smoke. Hang on, I'll leave it for a sec. That is wicked. Okay, never mind. I'm going to keep recording because that smoke looks epic right now. Sweet. There they all went. Oh, 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 oh,